<laughs> hey guys, Dante here, and welcome back to my channel, The Book of Thought, and welcome back to Inktober here on October 11th. Today's theme is disgusting. Let me see if I could adjust the camera a little bit. Let's see if that looks better. Alright. <clears throat> Speaking of disgusting, today, which is a Sunday, I, I, had, I became a disgusting human. Uh, essentially, I woke up super late, because I was up late last night. And all plans I had of organizing, of getting things done, went out the freaking window. Oh yeah, sure, I did my laundry and everything, but <laughs> didn't go out shopping for food. Some of the cupboards are bare. Um, and a bunch of video editing projects I was trying to get done just didn't get done. Uh, and I keep telling myself, I'll do it the next day, I'll do it the next day. And I was just telling all my friends, I need to get these done because once October is over, I don't want to have a massive backlog to have to fill up. But uh, anyway, hopefully we'll get to that. Hopefully I'll, I'll just freaking get my act together and get some projects out the way. Now I'm thinking about, I was thinking several ideas for disgusting. I was thinking once again with the overall mass scientist, the lab, evil lab idea, maybe a slop sink. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking of drawing a table where everything's really neat, actually. There's one pencil off. Uh, <laughs> you, know, some, you know, just some, something that people find disgusting because it's like um, their anal retentiveness gets in the way. Not too sure. Or maybe I should just go straight up for something that is disgusting. Maybe a bucket full of sludge. So what are we thinking? And I try to push this damn book. It's the pages don't want to say flat. Hmm, hmm. Disgusting, disgusting. Maybe I should do the pencil idea. <laughs> I love this little pocket ruler. I was like, I need a ruler that fits inside of my... I need a straight edge that fits inside a pencil case. And I found this ruler for... Uh, what is it? Six inches long. Suck it, metric system! I really don't know, guys. I really don't know. I'm kind of floundering here. I was floundering yesterday, too. Okay, okay. I think I have something. I should have reference for it, but I don't. But I think I have something right now. Let 
we are going to draw a fridge, right? It's a medical fridge. There's a reason for that too. We're going to be doing a medical fridge for a reason. Should I go to exaggerate it? So rather than like a perfect box, you see like both sides of it open up. Let's go exaggerate it, why not? Nope, don't lose that line, Dante. Damn it, don't lose that line. There we go. So, if anyone's ever been to the doctor's office, you will know there's usually a big old sign on the side of almost every single medical fridge. And it usually reads, no food. And that's what we're going for here. Someone is being an absolute pig and putting perhaps their ham sandwich inside of it. That's what's so disgusting about this. No blood and gore, no slime, no nothing. Just some doctor who just freaking puts his ham sandwich in the medical supply fridge. Shot it. Oh well. Put it back there. I have no idea how refrigerator ha uh, hinges should look like. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the basic layout. Let's have a top shelf. So we're going to obviously have some blood bags hanging there. Because, you know, no medical, no medical facility shouldn't have an excess amount of blood. Whose blood? I don't know. Once again, I have no idea how blood bags actually look. I'm just going on like some basic memory. Um... I was actually watching the movie The Thing recently and I love that movie. I'm not big on horror films. At least I don't pay for them. I watch horror films at home. I don't I don't go to the movie theaters to watch horror films. Um but the thing, oh man, that's a good film. Then again, for me it's also about like the freaking practical effects. Oh baby. Baby. Love me some good practical effects. Now we'll do one of the bottom shelves, or rather the mid shelf. This is where the corporate is at. I think I did the, with the angles I did, I think the shelves came out freaking wrong. Should have done. They're way, way too angular. Shoot. I don't know. Maybe put a little bit of shading to hide it up. bottle in here I was just watching, um, you know, everyone's freaking playing Among Us, and I was just watching a, a York's cast video of it, and it was, a, it was a really fun one, because, you know, speaking of violence and blood and whatnot, it was one where, like, no one knew the guy, like, we're watching it, and I'm just screaming, like, oh, come on, man, and of course, like, the loudest person in the group is the murderer, and someone even points that out, like, maybe we shouldn't, like, you know kill anyone until we find out why so and so is constantly screaming about killing people uh it's 
So that was that was that was just fun to watch. So I was watching that right before the stream started. And even then even then no one freaking knew it was them and they still didn't win because they didn't bother like because everyone else was just finishing their task. Like, they didn't take a chance. They were loud and everything, but they didn't take a chance. Okay, let's put a few random med sample bottles down here. piss bottles or something. Why is this line? Out of all the lines, why is it freaking... There we go. This one goes this way. To change the angle. There we go. Listen. I think it's the top one that looks a bit off to me. I'll put a sign that says, the obvious sign that says, uh, leave food out of medical fridge. Yeah, it's a bit quiet, a bit quiet on the weekend. Good to have you, good sir. thing is, I'm trying to think how would you do shading inside the fridge when there's a little light bulb inside the fridge. Nothing when doing big swaths of area like this. I'm always never too sure how to do the cross hatching. Do I leave the lines big and broad and fill it up afterwards? I don't know. I guess, I guess get the basic 
and then really get in there and sloppy it up a little bit. You know, the lines don't always have to be perfectly parallel to each other. So during these videos, I'm trying not to like rotate the page like I normally would. Like normally I would turn the page to get that better angle when I'm drawing, but I'm trying not to do it in these videos. So on the general, just regular news front, uh, the you know news that no one cares about, um, I probably mentioned yesterday. I did in the stream. I mentioned yesterday how the family and I went to like an apple picking place, and uh, I bought a bunch of apple based uh, recipe stuff, and made myself apple crisp for the first time. Uh, very good. Like it all, you know, it's it's. Probably didn't come out as clean as it should. As, uh, well, I don't know, apple, the crispy part of the apple crisp. I don't know how much, how much it should be crispy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I have this big, two big pans of apple crisp slices. And I might bring them to work if they survive long enough on, I don't know, Tuesday or something. The next thing to do is to do a nice big batch of homemade uh, homemade camo apples, but that requires a few more recipe ingredients I need to grab, so that be at a later date. So we do the opposite. So here in the Coca-Cola can, you have a light shadow. Here is the opposite. It's like a dark streak going down, uh, more reflective of what's around it as opposed to reflecting light. Because these are meant to be like, I don't know, like piss bottles. So I don't want to color it black. That makes no sense.
speaking of which, these fridges are sometimes metallic. Sometimes they're white on the outside like a regular fridge, and sometimes they're metallic. So I'm going to just gonna have some fun and just do like a metallic reflection going down this side. There's some artists I watch who um, their approach to technology isn't as angular as most people would draw. Uh, but then again, that's also like a style of like 1950s technology where everything was a little bit more rounded. The cars had like fins and the fridges were often designed more boxy and round and like more pudgy, I guess. Think fallout, but without everyone being irradiated. Now I got the theme for Cuckoo Cola stuck in my head. To, to be honest, all I have is like the actual like theme and not the lyrics. The Cuckoo Cola Cult. If you don't know what that is, that is a um, freaking Chippendales rescue. Uh, not Chippendales, the dancers. Chippendale, like Disney's Chippendale, like reference. They find a group and they don't, they don't hide what it is in the show. They refer to it as the Cuckoo Cola Cult. Let's do these plastic frames with a black edge. Mostly, we're gonna leave this little shine right here. Yeah, I know, watching someone draw a refrigerator isn't necessarily the most exciting thing in the world. But life isn't always exciting. Sometimes you just have to go with it.
give me that. Give me that black line. Come on. Freaking. Everything's drying up. I need to buy a whole new batch of markers. I feel like I'm always buying new pens and markers. This freaking little uh, lock strap here, because it's like, you know, fake leather with a little lock strap in the front. Gets in the way. I put my hand out and always makes me go like in the wrong direction. Just a little bit, of, little bit of random shading on the door, and this, and this blank door, because once again, it's a medical fridge. It does not need a door to hold food. It's more like a slate that just closes. Need that handle, or else you can't open the damn door. Put a black streak going down it, and a little bit of shading on the connecting parts. Just some inside shading around the edges, just to kind of fill it up. Going from ruler to freehand, that is stupid. Come on. There we go. Better. Better.
So I got this sticker that reads meds only. And then we're gonna put a magnet, uh, like one of those f smiley face magnets. Let's read the magnet has a note that says no food. And that's it. Really clean. I kind of like it. It's really clean, but the tone is meant to be disgusting because someone keeps putting their damn soda in an open sandwich in the blood facility. Just add some more dark lines on the edges here and there. So, oh, and because, because I have to put it, I put it right here. Virgo's art, because as my buddy Cretorius Rex said, own up to it, it is yours. Twenty twenty. This is the eleventh. D what's for the G D disgusting, that's how you spell it. And because I've been using a little the whole time. Boom. And let's see, what's the chat say? <laughs> I like my sandwich cold. Fun story. So way back when in my former job, uh, which is actually a stone's throw away from my current job, uh, so we had a fridge and there were two major stories. One is a grouping of stories in which people were eating other people's food, which in itself is disgusting. Uh, but then my story was a funny one. I reach into the fridge one day to get my food out and when I pull my food out, someone's Tupperware falls out. And that's okay, that's a Tupperware. But when that Tupperware hits the floor, it just explodes. Like as soon as it's the floor, the lid just pops right off and a homemade sandwich goes in all freaking at the camera. It just goes out in all directions and it's all in slow motion. I just see the sandwich falling, hit, and suddenly the lid pops and everything goes everywhere. This beautiful homemade sandwich with like chicken and candles what was in it. And I felt so bad. I just, I threw out the sandwich, put the Tupperware together, got a post-it note and says, uh, I dropped your sandwich, come to me and I will buy you lunch, signed Dante. And it just felt so bad, but it was just so comical the way it happened. It's like, that's the kind of stuff you would see in TV, like just the way it just disintegrated in front of me. Uh, uh, the, other, the other stories regarding people who were stealing food, that was, that was not cool. That was an unfun one. Uh, it wasn't just a matter of someone reaching into the fridge and grabbing someone's extra can of Coke. Or someone reaching in there and grabbing, I don't know, uh, something that's already pre-made. Like, like, a, like a deli wrapped up bagel or something like that. No, we had someone who would go to people's food 
And you knew they were opening up stuff to see what they would like more. Because they took something from me that in no way you would know what was in it. They literally had to take the food, unwrap the aluminum, and then decide, this looks good, I'll eat this. Because there was no way of them knowing what was in it. And luckily we caught them. Because uh, an associate of mine saw that they were eating my food, which happened to be uh, handmade chocolates. A friend of mine made handmade chocolates the day before at a party and gave them out to everyone. It was like she was practicing chocolatiering, Miss Willy Wonka herself, as they say. And she gave out these chocolates. And there he is. There's this guy eating these chocolates shaped like freaking seashells. And uh, a friend who was at the party was like, where'd you get those? He goes, I bought them. And then they tell him, no, you didn't. Those are Dante's because his friend gave everyone handmade chocolates. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can't lie when you're eating like a, a individually made snack for someone and someone calls you out on it. Now that is disgusting. If you, if you are at a facility where you have a shared fridge, do not pull that shite. <laughs> It, um, to answer the question, um, the one who ate my chocolates, my chocolates, the one who ate my chocolates was a uh, former vehicle driver. I don't want to give too many details about the job, but it was a former vehicle driver and older gentleman and he is no longer there at, my, at, the, at the facility. Just realized, and I just realized now after that little tangent story, the fridge is kind of sitting in limbo here. There you go. This one, a simple line lets you know it's on the ground. at least make it look like it's also sitting further from the wall because I don't want to do shading all up the wall. So we're going to drop the shadow a little further back on this. There we go. That's better. I feel better now. All right. So that's it for today, guys. Tomorrow here in the U.S., which I think Twitch is mainly will extend. No, Twitch goes everywhere. Uh, tomorrow in the U.S., it is a holiday for many of us. So I'll be off. And maybe tomorrow or tonight, I'll finally get my act together and get some of his uh, backed up video log out the way. But in the meantime, there's our finished uh, refrigerator with uh, food and delicious, uh, we call it Nuka Cola. Or delicious blood, it depends on what your taste is. Or delicious uh, uh, urine samples, it really depends on what your taste is. But anyway, as always, you're going to be seeing uh, the, still image, the still images of these on the social medias off on the right over here. And once again, I am Dante. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Later.